Welcome again. In this tutorial, we will create an admin route for our application. The purpose is we will create a separate folder for our uh, admin panel and also we will create a separate route for our admin panel. So let us start. So when we will install CACPHP, by default CACPHP has given us some sources. So if you go in config and there is a file called, there is a file called routes.php and here you will see lots of code. So this code or this, uh, if you see this code, you will see in 48 number line, there has a, uh, there has a method called scope. So this scope method actually uh, given you uh, uh, some, uh, it's actually built at your all routes that you are actually using in your application. For example, uh, you are seeing there has a builder fallbacks. It's actually giving you all uh, given you all controller uh, or catch all routes for your all controllers. You can see they have given also a, a small description for this. Connect to catch all routes for all controllers. The fallbacks method is a shortcut for. So these two you don't need to write statically. You just need to use this fallbacks method to create uh, or catch your all controllers and action in your application. So if you want to see your uh, existing route, then you can go in your terminal and open your terminal. And I'm going in CD, then build folder. And if you just type CAC routes, then you'll see your routes list, route list. So you can see that there has lots of routes available now, but there is actually some debug kit route if you want, if you don't want to see this debug kit route, you just need to go in app local, and in this app local, you if you made this true, that means it deb our debug mode true to false. Then after save, if you go again, and giving the cat routes command again, then you will see uh, less route now. So you can see in our base URL this and this base URL actually assigned for controller pages and action will be display. So at first we want to see our uh, blocks and home in this uh, root directory. That means we want to see these blocks at home in our root directory. So for that I'm going in our routes folder, uh, sorry routes file. And here they have given uh, in line 65, given a connect for your base URL. That means that will be in your base URL. And controller will, they have written here pages. I'm just changing it pages to blocks. And action I am just giving, giving here home. So now in your browser, if you just uh, remove these blocks and home, then hit on enter you will see your blocks home page in your root directory. So this is the basic. And another thing you can see if you just go in your routes again, uh, CD build, and if you go in CAC routes, hit on enter, you can see that in line four, uh, three and four, you can see that uh, this fallbacks actually given your access all your controllers, also, it has given you access all your controllers and also actions and also for your query string. If you want to send any query string, it's also uh, you want to send and that they have given here a all sign in here. So just uh, try to uh, uh, memorize these uh, things uh, that we have only four routes. So now we will create a admin route in here. So for that, I'm going in my routes and I'm just minimize this. This is scope that actually provided by CACPHP. Now we will create our own routes in here. So for that, I'm going in CACPHP documentation and CACPHP, in CACPHP documentation, in, if, if you go in right side, there is a page contents and there is a prefix routing option in here. I'm just going to click in here. So you will see that they have used a router class and a prefix method for create a prefix uh, 
uh, route. So I'm just going to copy this line here to here and paste it in here. So this is a static method they have used in here. And if you just remove this line, I'm just remove this comment from here. So after save, uh, if you, I'm just also changing this name to a small admin. And if you go and uh, in, in your, in your, uh, uh, in your browser and hit given the admin, it has given an internal error has occurred, but we are not seeing error because our development mode is uh, uh, false. I'm making again it's true. And after save, if you go and reload, uh, reload again, you'll see the class route are not found. Because here the router prefix is under the router class, so we have to use it in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going in here and just uh, taking this from this line and use this in here. Use CAC routing router. So after save, now if you just go and reload, you know, able to see your uh, missing controller now seeing in here. So what I will do, another thing I have to do in here, I have to just, uh, uh, I'm just to want to give here a uh, default page or default route, then when will user hit on admin, then by default it will go in this route so for that uh, i am going to use this route connect method is going to copy this line and paste it in here so you, you can see that the routes has a method called connect and in here uh, this is the base url for admin and controller i'm mentioning the controller called users controller and action will be index. That's fine. So now make this again uh, false and go in our terminal again and go in CD bin folder again and using the map using the cat crowds command again and hit or enter. Now what you are seeing in here, you can see that now a admin route has been added, a admin and controller route has been added, an admin, controller, action, and also queries for sending queries thing also allowed in here. So now if you just uh, go in your uh, admin route and after hit on enter, now you will see that not found admin. And because we want to see the actual error, I'm going to make it again true, development mode, and go and reload our page. We will see the using missing controller. So missing con users controller not created. Uh, so that's why we're getting this error. But if you go in down, you can see that they actually given us a suggestion that your users controller is two time controller reason is here yeah, we have used the controller we have to just give here only users so now if you reload again so you will say that missing controller users controller could not be found and here you can see they have suggest us that this uh, users controller should be in admin folder like source controller admin and users con users controller.psv so we have to create a a controller a folder called admin in our source in our controller and here we have to create a new folder called admin and remember it will be in capital letter that means capitalize admin and hit enter in this admin folder we have to create our controller for example i'm creating here users controller so users controller dot php and hit on enter so now if we just copy this line from here to here, you are seeing that they have used this namespace, app controller and admin because our now users controller is in controller and then it's in, in our admin folder. And
and if we just save and reload then in this time you will see uh, very fast server filtering okay uh, it's actually for this space you are getting this error a fatal error name is this declaration system has to be very fast system and it's actually for this php there's a space so i'm just removing this space now save again now go and reload our page in this time you are seeing the missing method that means we need a method index so what i'm going to do i'm creating a method now public function index if you made here a exit and give your hello then save then go reload your page you should see the hello now so now if you remove this admin then hit on enter you will see the home page now if you go in admin it will go in your admin panel so now we will create a login page and also we will create the admin resources in here so another thing if you want to use uh, a difference app controller for your uh, admin panel so what you can do for example here you need to a uh, you need login in here but you don't need to create any login or lo uh, or login from for your app controller so and also for many reason you want to change your app controller um, or you want to create separation separate app controller for your admin panel and also for your front end so i'm just going to create a new app controller for my admin pan admin panel i'm using here app controller dot php so app controller dot php has created so now i'm going to uh, copy this line from here uh, that's from front end i'm just pasting pasting it in here uh, removing this comment So now, so everything will be same. Just you need to add a new route in here. You have to just mention this is a new route. This route will be app controller admin. So we are using this app controller for our users controller. So now after save, if you go in users controller, you have to also change here, give here the controller and changing the direction directory calls admin and now if you hit app controller use this app controller after save if you go again just reload your page it's working fine and now it's actually uh, used your admin app controller but when you will use uh, remove this admin you will go in your front end it's actually using your front end app controller so it's actually our uh, today's tutorial where we, we have created uh, admin prefix route in next tutorial we will create login for our admin panel welcome for the next tutorial thank you for watching this tutorial